So there's this knot. It's in the kingdom of Gordium, and legend has it that whoever can undo it will be ruler of all of Asia. Alexander, son of Philip of Macedon, pre the Great, looked at this puzzle for a second, and then, true to his form, he drew his weapon and he hacked it to pieces. Um, conventional wisdom will always have diminishing returns, much like technology itself. It's obsolete the moment it hits the shelf. Uh, I suppose more accurately for the day would be out for delivery, would more fit the time. Ryan Cohen, sure cut to the point today, didn't he, gang? From this day forward, Sir Ryan Cohen. Realistically, it's highly entertaining to tell people that you made money on something like GameStop. Uh, the look on their face is just a nice added bonus. We're entertaining around here. Please remember, don't watch a single YouTube video and then put money into play. Try to aim for like an even number. Okay, today, Kramer said, young investors are betting on potential of the world changing technology instead of trying to calculate future profits and cash flows for companies. Gang, welcome to the modern free market. We march into a new golden age. We cut right to it, if you will. Thanks, Alexander. Okay, so I added to my GameStop shares today, and for some unknown reason, I did not get calls. Um, I sold half my position, but if someone is visionary enough to say, I have plans for GameStop, then power to the player. I don't have to be a visionary to bet on one. We've all made worse bets. Tesla. Um, all I can say is, uh, s and I hope you're ready for the volatility that uh, this beautiful, beautiful stock comes with. I know I certainly am. Peloton is a beast. Uh, I, I really don't know what else to say. I, I hope we'll see a dip tomorrow, but realistically, it's the perfect stock for the coming months and really years ahead. Think of an integrated Peloton game that lets you go all Mario Kart on your friends and family. There's just so much fusion there of exercise and gaming and community that's all rolled into a subscription-based model that lets you also finance the bike. It's not an exercise bike that you put your clothes on. It's your gaming and social apparatus that just happens to help you get healthy. Super bullish. Full disclosure, my wifey owns one, rode 10 miles today, and the uh, first time I tried it, I hated it. I was not always a believer. It's easy to be short-sighted. Uh, it's easy to like look at a stock and then think there's no reason that that should be that high. Like we'll even say it out loud as if like trying to fight with reality or something. My only point here is that this is a giant waste of time. Uh, what's more important to you? Making money on a play that you think shouldn't work or losing money on one and then in retrospect figuring out why it was folly. Retrospect is worth exactly zero dollars. I'll take luck over skill any day of the week. You'll never get a the great after your name if you aren't ridiculously lucky. Also helps if you might be the son of Zeus. Doesn't hurt. We left the safety play of the caves long ago. It's kind of why bears miss it in the first place. We didn't harness fire and lightning because it was safe. Instead, we tackled a puzzle what our minds are built to do. They see patterns and they figure things out. All right, gang, um, I, I'll go over a definitive list tomorrow of what my actual picks are and stay away from, but some things that I'm keeping an eye out for. Um, ArcG is the fund without Tesla, in case you don't know. Uh, not that I'm capable of doubting Tesla, far, far from be it. God bless you, Elon, may he protect you against Thanos. But this is kind of how we diversify within a single play. Queen Catherine moves a ticker merely by giving her, it her attention at this point. It's kind of cool. Riot is going to be big tomorrow, next week, and next year. Um, I'll do more solid DD over the holiday on it, but suffice it to say, you've made worse bets. Uh, LAZR, multiple days of big money moving in and everyone racing to try to cobble together something that might be able to catch Tesla. Both this and VLDR will get gobbled up by a big player, have no doubts. Till then. Uh, we ride the volatility. On the note of the iCar real quick, um, I own lots of Apple stuff, but there's some stuff I don't own. Um, I've never owned an Apple TV, 
nor did I own a Newton. Neither has most of the marketplace considering their sales. Um, I'm not worried about the iCar. Apple's awesome at showing us something new. They're not actually that adept at trying to force that little fruit onto a new space. Uh, think about uh, accessory product that they've ever made. It's not great. They're, they're good at the new ideas. They're not so good at the taking other ideas and then putting their brand on it. Also, um, I think they'll end up buying Peloton at some point. That's a better space fit, in my opinion. I could be wrong. GRWG. Uh, so I sold half my positions when they were about 110%. I'll buy more calls tomorrow, but uh, I do love a green Christmas. SBE is catching my eye. No positions yet, but uh, I want to see how it ends the day after hours before I speculate too much. Shorter vid tonight uh, because we're going to watch one of our favorite holiday movies. Gremlins. It oddly does give you a fairly accurate rendering of what having children is like. Gang, tonight, maybe try and reach out to someone that you don't usually. The holidays can be a tricky time, and it's always nice to know that someone's out there and they're thinking of us. We're more than any single moment. We're also not alone. Please like and sub. Uh, keep sharing links uh, to the vids. I do so love momentum. Lastly, sometimes... You just need to cut through all the red tape. As Alexander, son of Philip of Macedon taught us. Ready up bulls, we ride Wednesday morning, right around dawn.